And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Similar to yesterday morning, waking up to a few showers across the southeast highlands, across parts of Idaho for this morning, and for the western half of Wyoming, seeing a mixture of rain and even some snow showers indicated by the shades of pink and the shades of white out there. And while other areas for this morning may be dry, unfortunately, more moisture will be on the way as we do move throughout the day. Temperatures currently pretty chilly. Jackson, good morning. Currently 42 degrees in your area. And if you look behind me, if you look really close at those mountaintops, looks like there's some snow out there. Some people may be excited for that, some not so much, but it could be a precursor of things to come. Even across Driggs right now, temperature of 44 degrees, also chilly. Again, seeing widespread clouds in the sky. Unfortunately, it looks like the western half of Wyoming will stay cloudy and also potentially stormy for today. Across the rest of the region, temperatures pretty similar for this morning across most areas, waking up to those 40s. 46 right now across Idaho Falls. It's 41 in Evanston, 43 right now in Haley, even for parts of the central mountain. Mountains, slightly warmer right now, 52 currently in Salmon. As we move throughout the day, that area of low pressure will continue to track northeastward, but unfortunately, it will still drive all this moisture into our area. Again, we could still see some scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms for the Snake River Plain. I think for the Snake River Plain, the moisture holds off until the afternoon hours, but for the western half of Wyoming, those showers and storms will be likely as we do move throughout the day out the day and again with this counterclockwise flow it'll just wrap that moisture right into your area building in from the south across the western half of Wyoming for today. Temperatures continuing to be very chilly. Notice western Wyoming only staying in the 50s so very cool out there for your area. A slight improvement for the Snake River Plain will be in those 60s but still jacket weather required for all areas today along with the umbrella and as far as the Snake River Plain goes we'll be at 65 across Blackfoot, 68 for Pocatello, the western half of Wyoming much cooler, 55 degrees for Jackson. Tomming out that moisture for you, 8 o'clock this morning. Again, still seeing some shades of pink and shades of white, indicating a mixture of rain and snow across the high elevations. But locally for the Snake River Plain, will be cloudy by about 8 o'clock. And again, notice that moisture wrapping around into our area by about 4 o'clock. That's when we could see a few showers passing through the Snake River Plain. Maybe even a thunderstorm into the evening hours. But by 10 o'clock tonight, we begin to dry out and drying conditions and also Clearer skies for the overnight means temperatures will also drop and become much cooler. We'll be in the 30s and the 40s for the Snake River Plain. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast leaves us mainly sunny for tomorrow. The beginning of a warming trend 78 by Friday, mainly sunny on Saturday, completely sunny for Sunday. The weekend still looking beautiful temperatures in the 80s just briefly before they become much cooler to start next week. Idaho Falls, your seven day forecast chance of showers and storms today, mainly sunny for Thursday and Friday with high temperatures pushing into the 80s for the weekend across the Teton area Jackson Afton and Driggs showers and storms will be likely for today mainly sunny for Thursday and Friday a few clouds on Saturday and also for the Central Mountains Salmon Chalice and Mackey chance of showers and storms today with partly cloudy skies through Saturday